It is 7 p.m. on the evening of 20, or 14 September. It's been about four days since I have introduced or removed weights, so I've been pending to begin the next series, but two days ago I noticed that there was still oscillation on the torsion balance, so I was going to give it another couple days, but it appears that the oscillation is increasing, not decreasing, and I have absolutely no idea what is causing this, because as you can see, the weights are not in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, sadly, enter the room and take a look around. I think that the attachment point for my torsion wire to the torsion balance has shifted. Before I started this series, I actually uh, soldered that point because Walter Bislin thought that I might be getting some errors at that attachment point, and it was a very loose attachment point. So I brought my soldering iron in there, and I just put a big glob of solder on there, and I'm wondering if that didn't pop free and uh, started this oscillation because it should at this point be resting at about 8.8 .8, but right now it is oscillating with over two centimeters and at the max it was oscillating at almost four centimeters so I'm going to untape the door and go into my spare bedroom and I will also be recording this with my phone so we can get something directly from inside the room did not want to do this but I think this is about where we're at right now I have nine data sets from this run I have done a total of nine entries and exits of the M2 one of those runs was filmed as part of a interview with uh, Baldy Cats, so it's kind of mixed in with his interview data, but I, I should have enough information to, to get some data off of it. So just entering the room is going to start an oscillation, but my goal right now is to try and figure out if there's something in the room that has changed since the last series of runs. So everything looks normal. All the lights are still on. Nothing there has changed. I don't see anything that has fallen. A little quick walk around the room. Kristen's laser beam. Yeah, I don't see anything that has drastically changed that could have instigated this oscillation. Here's the attachment point here. Sadly, I cannot check the attachment point at the top. Either that is soldered or uh, hot glued. But the attachment point at the top is through a hoop that is on the guitar string. So there's actually no knot up there. It is just hooped through, and then inside of that, there is a similar eyelet to that. So off this. Get in here close. I cannot tell. I don't know. Let me see if I can zoom in. is the only thing I can think of that would have caused this. Oh. Alright, so let's open up the other side. Can 
not touch the torsion balance. I do not know what caused this. I don't know. And just to be sure, let's see how close I can get to looking up. The probably not able to see much, but let's not touch the wire. started this oscillation. Uh, nothing in this room has changed. Come on, focus in. I've looked over all the vibration sensor data and I didn't see anything, but I will double check. Because I would hope that if that did jar, it would have also caused that. But since I'm in here now, and I've got nine data points, uh, I'm probably going to, over the next couple days, remove these heavier masses and put in the lighter masses that I've got over there in the corner. And we will start running with that series. So, thanks for coming to take a look. If you have any thoughts on what could have caused this oscillation, please let me know because I'm baffled.